Hey everybody, got an awesome video for you here today. Today I'm going to be bringing you just outside of the Toronto area, across the 401, and just north of the uh, area of Brighton. We're going to be going to uh, Campbellford today, uh, the little town of Campbellford, Ontario. We're going to be checking out uh, Ferris Provincial Park uh, and also uh, some housing developments that are coming up there, which is basically like just down the street from Ferris. So we're going to do the two-in-one and just get it done. And this is the subdivision here. This is the uh, Haven on the Trent. We were looking at some houses here. Um, the, the builder is, is going to be building this little community right smack dab in the middle of the forest. They're actually starting on this little strip of road at the back. Um, the houses I was kind of hoping to get into were going to be built in this little brush over here. Um, they haven't built it yet, so I thought, you know what, they have started the, on this phase over here. Let me take a look at it. And it's a good thing I did because the houses were way too small. So then we said, you know what, let's Let's head over to Campbellford. And this, everybody, was what we were greeted with when we were coming into the uh, city of uh, Campbellford over here. You can see over here, this is the Campbellford sign welcoming everybody into the town. This is just on the outskirts of the city. This ain't downtown. This is on the outskirts. They were having just some, like, random car show, cars, motorcycles, everything was out. Did create a little bit of traffic as we were coming into Campbellford, but it was great. Give us a chance to slow down and check out all the cool uh, cars. And this, everybody, turned out to be the highlight of the trip. Dewhurst Bakery. Every time I was Googling Campbellford, this kept popping up. I was like, I got to go check it out. I, I voted Canada's sweetest bakery. The, I got a, a dozen donuts from there. These are handmade donuts. The whipped cream is handmade. It wasn't even sweet. 10 out of 10. You got to check this place out. Then we came and crossed over the bridge because Campbellford is kind of divided into two areas here. There was a bit of a festival happening, uh, but it was kind of happening on both sides. You can see on the other side over there, there was uh, all the tents over there. So there was something happening over there. Um, and then, but the, the major stuff was happening on this side over here. You can see over here. Um, so we decided to cross over the bridge, come on this side. And um, over here, this is where everybody kind of parks their boat. And there's a lot of boats that pass through here, right? And uh, we were just kind of walking around and checking things out. And this here, uh, everybody, is what Campbellford is well known for. This is the world's biggest toonie. Uh, the toonie, of course, is the $2 Canadian coin, which was used to phase out the $2 bill. Um, and this is the world's biggest toonie. It's basically smack dab right downtown, right where all the boats are. Um, there's like a bit of a washroom area. This is basically it. Uh, so we came over here, took some pictures and whatnot, and uh, that's about it. Then we headed over to Ferris. And this was the driveway getting into Ferris Provincial Park, speeding it up here so you can see. I mean, this driveway just went on forever. But finally, we came across the signs that led us into the uh, parking lot over there. It did say there's some washrooms coming up in this. This I got to show you right now. Beware check this out this was the bathroom it's just like some kind of like little boonie outhouse when we opened the door no way my kids were like i'm not going in there check out the color of that toilet it was it was crazy you can smell it from down the street it was insane so we left there said forget about that just went for our walk anyway but the walk was well worth it uh, there's a lot of paths uh, that cut through and they all kind of join back together so not everybody's just walking on the same path but there is one trail that goes right along the Trent River and you can see that here along the fence it's kind of hard to see with my camera jiggling but boom check this out this is a perfect snapshot of this beautiful trail that runs through there we we're just checking it out and this is where it comes to um, this is the of uh, the entrance point of Ferris Provincial Park and of course the suspension bridge this bridge was built by the Canadian military um it, it's not even all that busy if you look around I mean there's nobody really here there's no lineup it's absolutely free so you know we had to go on it we crossed it this is what's on the other side um this is basically the the other side of the rainy gorge and um there's just some information like, you know, visitors information and stuff. Um, and that's it. So then, you know, we came back across. It was really cool being on the bridge. Bridge was real cool. Um, the area surrounding it is, uh, you know, it's very green. There's a lot of greenery. There's obviously the Trent River. This was cool over here. People are putting their little padlocks on the uh, fence over here, which is very common in places like Europe. Um, and you know, you're starting to see that here and you can see and everybody's kind of putting their name on there. Look at that, right? Um, over here, you can see one and pull it up close and you can see it's uh, 
Nana Boppy Quinn 2023. So then we started heading over to uh, Ferris Provincial Park right in the beginning uh, of the park uh, area here. They got these maps for everybody, right? So we grabbed the map and started heading on out and venturing in. Uh, even if you don't have a map, I mean, you know, you just stay on the path, right? You don't venture off from the path and you should be okay. So then we started heading into the park over here. It was a bit of a rainy day and, you know, it was really swampy here. But you can see, if you look in the floor over here, people come through here with their mountain bikes. So it's a really popular mountain biking path. Um, so, you know, a good idea if you, if you, if you do like mountain biking, that's a real good trek up there. Um, but make sure you got your hiking boots on. It's, uh, it's a pretty good hike over there. You can you can be over there for half an hour. You can be up there for a few hours. Uh, those are pretty big trails that uh, come through there. And you can see here, there's some water that was flowing through, right? So be real careful. It wasn't even too much of a rainy day. It had rained earlier in the day and it was just real swampy out there. So, but overall, it was a great, uh, it was a great venture over there. And uh, I'd suggest it to anybody. Thanks for watching.